the topic of today is optimism. And I think that optimism is a very, it's a great word, but I think that it has like a connotation to only pertain to a type of person. You know what I'm saying? Like we like to describe people as optimistic, like it's a character trait. Um, And I think that a lot of them don't, a lot of us don't really take optimism seriously. Um, It's a feeling, you know what I'm saying? And I think that in this episode, I wanted to talk about how optimism needs to be a tool. We need to be seeing optimism as a tool because it is a tool. And ultimately, I think that optimism or I could say positive thinking or just, you know, yeah, really just being positive is not just something that we should remember to do so we can just feel good about ourselves. But it's actual tool that we should use. Positive thinking is a tool that we should use in order to access the things that God has for us. And I'll explain everything. Um, But let me, you know backpedal a little bit and just talk about time right you know a lot of people's life right now my life right now end of the quarter or end of the semester depending on whether you're on quarter system or semester system in school um and around this time everybody's really big on finals you know you're big on finals final exams or midterm if you're in high school or whatever um, you know, and I think that ultimately when we get to this point in time, not only is it finals, but it's also winter and with winter for a lot of people comes seasonal depression. Um, and ultimately, you have this time period in the year where it's great because it's holidays. It's great because you got Thanksgiving this Thursday. You got Christmas. You got the New Year's coming up. You got a new year to like fresh, you know, to start fresh and all different stuff. But ultimately, you know, when the sun goes away, a whole bunch of clouds in the sky and you have to knock out all these tests. There's a lot of stress that goes with that exact same theme. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's holidays, it's cheerful, but it's also a lot of stress because a lot of things you got to take care of. I think that, you know, the question that we have to ask ourselves is how do we beat the pressure um, while dwelling literally in that current situation? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing that you can do to stop your final from being next week. So it's like sometimes some of us, we think that, oh, my gosh, like my finals next week, I can prepare and all that different stuff. But between now and next week, you're stressed. You're in the situation. There's nothing you can really do to get out of the situation until you pass that midterm, like the actual time. So what do you do when you're in the situation? It's not really a way that you can just escape it. You're in the situation um, and you have all this pressure. You have all this stress. You have this, all this frustration. Um, so that's what I want to talk about today. Optimism. Psalms 27. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in the plain path. This is David speaking. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in the plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. And then get this part, verse 13. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. May God bless hearing in the reading and understanding of his word. In Jesus' name, amen. I had fainted. Fainted. I, w- I would have given up unless I believed that I would see God's goodness at some point. That's what he said. Um, and ultimately, what he's confessing is that it was his optimism and his positive thinking the idea that better is coming, the idea that God's promises will be fulfilled, that kept him from giving up when he felt all of his enemies and the pressure that came with all of that. He believed in a brighter future, and ultimately he was trusting God. We we love to, you know, you hear trust God. People have it tatted. You hear, you know, you see the little memes. You know, there's like little, like pretty, like texts that people write, like, and then they like, it's like a graphic that they post on Instagram. Trust God. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's everywhere, you know, but do we really understand what the use in trusting God is? What the use in believing that there's a brighter future? What the use um, there is in believing that God is going to show up at some point? And I would say that optimism and positive thinking is so important and its significance is so great, so much that I would say that it is the key to what unlocks the door for the things that God has for us. When you think about it, I mean, what is optimism? What is, you know, believing in a brighter future? Well, it's just that it's believing. He said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord, not I had fainted unless I saw the goodness of the Lord. Oh, thank God. I I got a glimpse of it. So no, no, no. It said believed to see. That means he didn't see anything. David didn't see anything. 
but he believed that he would see something. What is that? That's faith. Positive thinking, optimism is linked to faith. And faith is how we access the things that God's already given to us. I think that, you know, maybe maybe I'm weird. So like let me let me know if I'm weird. I think that I hear all of this all the time. Oh, we just think positive. Oh, we just gotta think positive. But sometimes like I think in quotations, realistically. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us rather think realistically. We think we think that thinking realistically is smart and it's educated and it's mature and and you know it's dignifying and everything, but you know, like a lot of people who are realistic are really just negative people. And they think that to think positive and optimistic is just unrealistic. And let me tell you something about people like that is that people like that don't have faith because the Bible says we operate by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. That means that I can be optimistic and I can think positive. And that doesn't mean that I'm less educated. That doesn't mean that I'm, you know, just not being realistic. It depends on what you accept as your reality. If you think your reality is just going to be the things that are in front of you, that all you have is the things that's in front of you, the things that you can see, the things that are tangible, and that your future is already just going to follow the pattern of life that you're living right now, that's a sad way to live. If I focus so much on this situation and focus so much on the patterns of the past, focus so much on the patterns of the present, and I try to use that to project what I think is going to happen in the future, I'm going to lose. Because then you're playing the devil's game. The devil's game is to make sure that you do not believe that anything is going to happen. The devil's job is to make sure that you believe that God's promises are not going to happen. Sometimes God's promises look like they're not going to happen, and that's where our imagination has to come in. I think it's good to definitely live in the presence, but at the same time, don't drown yourself in sorrow of your current situation. You have to believe that God is going to show up. You got to believe that God is going to show his goodness. Um, and I think that this that's the battleground. That's the test. That right. That space between when you pray and ask God for something and God reveals you, you know, God reveals you his will and everything like that. That space between that and actually receiving the things that God has given you. That space in between there is your battleground. That's the test. That's all of it. How are you going to perform? How you perform, how you run, how you race in this area determines whether you actually get that promise at the finish line. Mm -hmm.